this is the most heartbreaking story in the history of rape and child abuse i remember that i was three years old when i got molested by an auntie who lived with us now and this will serve as a lesson to every parent every pastor every spiritual leader i was born to a very loving family my parents are pastors they love the lord they walk their talk. every parent must learn from her story don't love the people more than you love or watch over your children my parents like i was saying are people lovers they love people so much and because of that we had so many people who stayed with us when we were growing up add to the fact that they were ministers they were always helping one person or the other you know which meant that we were somehow susceptible to broken people because broken people will break other people and hurting people will hurt people and my story started when i was about three years old everything in my life was fine my whole I, I was born to a very loving family my parents are pastors they love the lord they walk their talk i wasn't one of those kids that would say oh my parents lived one way <clears throat> you know on the pulpit and then they were different at home no there was there was harmony there was congruence they they walked their talk and they genuinely loved god they loved people they raised us in the way of the lord my parents affirmed me a lot you know so i grew up in an affirming environment it was a you know great family my parents like i was saying are people lovers they love people so much and because of that we had so many people who stayed with us when we were growing up add to the fact that they were ministers they were always helping one person or the other you know which meant that we were somehow susceptible to broken people because broken people will break other people and hurting people will hurt people right so we had so many people who either lived with us or who had unrestricted, unrestrained access into our home. And I feel like the enemy latched on to that, you know, the love that my parents had for people. And he just saw me and thought, this girl, there's something about her. Let's go and sow a seed of corruption, you know, that will manifest later on in her life. And our parents we are so concerned about taking care of other persons because they were leaders and pastors in church and they stopped paying attention to her and that was the foothold the devil saw to manipulate her life keep watching i remember that i was three years old when i got molested by an auntie who lived with us now she wasn't related to me biologically but she was just one of those people that lived with us and we just called everybody auntie uncle she was sexually molested by someone she called auntie she wasn't related to this person, but because the parents had brought the person home, she saw these persons as family. Oh pastor, oh parent, oh spiritual leader, I know it is in your call to bring in people home. What I'm asking is this, the people you are giving access into your family, are you watchful to see the impact they are bringing upon your children? Do not be carried away with bringing people home training people that you don't pay attention to what they are doing, their influence over the lives of your children. Right. And I was three years old. And people often ask me, how is it that you remember something that happened to you when you were three years old? Because at three, your memory is still, you know, you're still developing your cognitive skills and all of that. But, you know, psychologists would say that the, the events that have the most significant impact on a person are the ones that occur when that child hasn't yet developed the language to express what they're feeling, you know. So even though I was only three and I don't even have the memory so vividly, I remember bits and pieces of it. I remember where we were, you know, and I remember that experience. I remember knowing that something was off, something was wrong, but I didn't have the vocabulary yet to express it, right? And so that was the enemy sowing a seed of corruption in my childhood. And what that went on to morph into was that I grew up with feelings of shame and guilt. It's what a lot of abuse victims As I grew older, a bit older, I had other molestation experiences with all these other uncles who lived in my house, you know. 